We all need somewhere. We who live for the day that might never come. We who go back again and again to where we come from. We who won't stop until we're unstoppable. We who will never say no to getting stuck in. We who pass on every tradition and skill that was passed on to us. We who love the days that come forever. Him, her, them, us. We all need somewhere that belongs to us all. GAA, where we all belong. You're all very welcome to Ockram here today for the second of our boom and platform higher senior football championship semi-finals between Antoker and Bottenglass. Waiting in the final is St. Pat's Wicklow Town. I have Cormac Doyle and co-commentary with me here. Cormac, this is going to be a real intriguing affair, I think. Uh, Antoker, the new kids on the block almost. Bottenglass are almost at the business end of the championship for as long as I can remember anyway. Very seldom they're not. Um, as we said, and a really exciting on talker team coming through. I think this could be one of the, the games of the year. Yeah, I think so. Like it's there certainly be no excuses with weather today anyway. It's bright, uh, there's a little bit of a breeze, but um it's 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 as good as a day as you can hope for probably this time of the year. Um yeah, I agree with you. I think Bald and Glass are always there thereabouts the last two or three years. We've watched them here like play up to a certain standard nearly every day but um, Toker have kind of brought something a bit different to it this year you know the championship as a whole um, they've gone for every match they've scored heavily like if you look at the scores you know they're getting big scores in all their matches and um, yeah I think they'll have a right good chance yeah I think good looking at Toker's results you know the, the least they've scored is 15 points any day which is a big score um, you know, talking about matchups in this one, you you've Kevin Murphy on Ushin Cullen, maybe, you know, you, we don't know how it's going to map out now. We have been told that Johnny Kyo doesn't start, I think, for uh, Bottendass, uh, picked up an injury during the week, which is a huge loss to the Bottendass outfit, and that uh, Pat Burke will probably be starting instead of Carol Furlong. We're just watching the warm-up to have their jerseys off there. Uh, doesn't seem to be any changes on on talker. We'll go through the teams now in just a second. But you know, if if Johnny Keogh doesn't start here, huge loss to Bottom. Last. Huge. Yeah. I mean, he handles so much ball for them, just in or around that midfield centre forward kind of position. Um, I think that is a big loss for them. Um, we've had a look there as well. Like Toker look like they're one to fifteen or all there with the jerseys on. Anyway, no, none of them look to be uh, not starting. So I think they look like they have a full deck. If you're taking Johnny Cow out of ball, and that certainly doesn't help their cause. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's it's a tough one to call, you know. Um, but because like you talk about Toker scoring heavily, Bolton Glass of like five eighteen and two ten, it's you know that's fairly good going as well. And and as you said just before, they're like they've only conceded eight points and five points. Um, no so goals. they're not yeah they're not conceding goals. They're kind of they look to be tight at the back now. Whether that's you know on the scoreboard, I mean. And you, we were both here, we were watching the Avondale Bolton last match, and there was definitely goals there. It's just, it's just that I think Mark Jackson pulled one out of the top corner, and there was a few. So, it's um, yeah, I think it's going to be a really good game. Like it could be the game of the year so far. We're hoping. Yeah, look, we're going to give you a quick run through the teams. We have Antoker up on your screen there first, and in goal is Peter Byrne, Luke Kenny, Gavin Kenny, and Jordan Brady make up the full back line. James Cardiff, Matt Nolan, and Gavin. Fogarty in the half-back line, Jamie Sally and Connor Davis in midfield, Ushi and Cullen, Gerard Byrne and Dara Fee in the half-forward line, Connor Fee, Niall Sheen and JP Nolan in the inside forward line, the bottom last team should be up on your screen there now, and it's Mark Jackson in goal and captain Arun Daly Dan, John Murray and Billy Cullen in the full-back line, number 18, Pat Burke replaces Carl Furlong in the half-back line with Chris Grimes and Kevin Murphy. Sean Doody and Jack Kerwin in midfield. Paddy Kerwin and Dan Kelly starts instead of Johnny Kyo, wearing number 20. Jason Kendi is the other half forward. John McGrath, Tommy Kyo and Adam McHugh in the inside forward line. And I suppose where matches are won and lost, that's a dangerous-looking inside forward line for Barton. That's. It is, yeah. I mean, the, the three lads can do a lot of damage. Um, there's goals in them. Um, I think if, 
the first five or ten minutes, you know, same as any match. I know it's a bit cliche, but could be huge here, especially to Toker's confidence, you know, if they can get a good start. There's lots of scoring in that full forward line for Bolton Glass, but you look at that on Toker forward team, forward line, Ushin, Cullen, Connor Fee, Niall Sheen, JP Nolan, there's plenty of scores in that as well, and I think they're um, they're not holding back this year, they're having a goal, so... We'll see. Could be a shootout. We'll see shortly because our referee for the day is Noel Kinsley and he's just getting ready to throw this one in. Billy Cullen has came out to centre back. Um, Chris Grimes has dropped back in. Looks like he's picking up JP Nolan. A few positional switches. Sean Doody, Jack Kerwin getting ready in the middle of the field. Kerwin gets his hand to this one. Ball breaks. First up on it was Billy Cullen kicks the ball and it hits the referee but it's a free to Antoker from the beginning there. Matt Nolan takes the free, goes all the way across underneath the stand as Antoker looked to build from the back from the beginning. It's Connor Davis, looks for the ball off Matt Nolan but doesn't get it. Uh, Nolan carries the ball forward, now gives it to Davis. Davis is about 50 yards out on the stand side, has a look up, pops a little pass across to Jerry Byrne. Byrne gives the ball into O'Shean Cullen. Cullen, that languid style, he's a great striker at the ball though. Gets the ball back to Jerry Byrne, gives it back to O'Shean Cullen. Cullen on the move here, has a look up, he'll have a go from there but drops it short into the grateful arms of Mark Jackson. Jackson takes the ball, pops it out as far as Jack Kerwin. Kerwin deep in his own half here, just at the top of the D, has a look around. The green and white jerseys come to him to take the ball from him. Uh, one of them was a run daily, Dan popped out, and it's out on the far line there with Pat Burke. Burke solos inside, has a look up, little bit of space in front of him, tries to get into it, gets the ball out to fires. Paddy Kerwin into Sean Doody. Doody kicks a nice ball in in front of Jason Kendi. Kendi takes it at the second attempt, gives it to Kevin Murphy. Long diagonal ball inside, well read by Matt Nolan, sitting just in the pocket, cuts out the pass and gets the ball to Sheen Cullen on the far side, 65 yards out from his own goal. Uh, and Hawker playing into the Herbs end here against whatever breeze is in it. The breeze has been up and down all, all day today, but it's quite strong down into the town end now as Jerburn pumps a long ball in in front of JP Nolan. Nolan gets the ball, turns in on his right foot, has a look, didn't fancy taking on the score, gets the ball to the top of the D to Jerburn. Burn is a runner outside him again, kicks the ball, second one dropped in to the arms of Mark Jackson, and that just won't do for Ron Hawker, unfortunately. But this ball is picked off brilliantly by Gavin Fogarty there. The, Passes to Jason Kendi. Kendi just had his pocket picked back out as far as JP Nolan. Nolan and passes the ball inside. Niall Sheen plays a little one-two with Nolan. Nolan steps inside. Chris Grimes, brilliant block down by Billy Cullen. Huge there by Cullen, the number four. Jumped in on top of that ball. It's in the hands of John Murray. Murray tries to get out. Niall Sheen turns him over. Brilliant play by Sheen to get the ball at the second of them. Picks it up. Oh, just squirts from his grass and it's gone out. Grasp and it's gone out over the line. It'll be a line ball. Deep in bottom last territory, but just those early attacks, Carmack dropping the ball into the keeper's hands, you know, that, that can come back to bite you. Yeah, they started fast there, like they've had three shots in two and a half minutes and no score, um, right. but they're pressing high and they're getting a lot of pressure. Good play by Pat Burke, just about got away. It was a loose pass out of the back line. Burke is away, he's storming up the stand side. He's took the ball 50 yards, he's on the 65. Plays a diagonal ball in, in front of uh, the full forward, Tommy Kyo Kyo. On the 40, a lovely little kick in, looking for uh, John McGrath. McGrath has a look around, will he fancy his chances from there? He will, you know, McGrath had no problem kicking that one, but it's gone to the left of the post and just gone wide. and Probably might have been a better option a little bit further out maybe, but when they go over John McGrath is usually fairly good on those decisions yeah he was, it was tight enough there now it's out the wind of his back he said he'd have a go at it but um, it's a fast start both teams three minutes on the clock we've no score yet but it's helter skelter long ball down to the middle of the field Jack Kerwin's underneath breaks off his hand down into the path of John Murray Murray goes down Niall Sheen huge tackle from Sheen there gets the ball back to Kevin Murphy Murphy has Billy Cullen running off his shoulder Cullen takes the ball, has a look up, left footed ball, long diagonal ball down into the corner. McHugh is out for this one first. Adam McHugh has a look, number 15 on his back. Solos hops, again comes back, looks for a bit of support, gets that support and it's Tommy Kyo. He pops a little pass inside to Jason Kennedy. Kennedy just comes back into a little bit of traffic. Good play by Antoker and Connor Davis has his hands on the ball. He gives the ball back in as far as Jordan Brady. Brady goes all the way across in front of his goal and gets the ball to Matt Nolan. Nolan looks up. Goes for the hand pass. Uh, there's a number eight. Stephen Connor has started for for uh, on Toker there. We'll just find out who's gotten. Hasn't started in a minute, but Stephen Connor, number 18, is in as on Toker look to build from the back here. Ball is in the hands of Jordan Brady, 65 yards out from his own goal. Charges forward. It's a real open game of football here. And it's out into the into the path of Matt Nolan. He pops the ball off to Oshin Cullen over as far as Dara Fee. Fee looks to come inside. Ball is back in the hands of Oshin Cullen. Talk about the shot, maybe didn't. 
Gets the ball to Niall Sheen, little one too, back to Cullen. Cullen hops the ball, gets himself into position, kicks this one high and curls it inside the right hand balls. High and over the bar. First blood on Talker, first scored on Talker. Really well worked, scored yeah, that they really worked that well. They could have taken a shot a bit earlier, but they actually were patient, held on to it. Um, good for them to get that score. Like in all their other matches, those first three chances have been going over. Like they've started fast, so that probably settled them a little bit, all right. But um, five minutes in, Bolton Glass. You'd be happy enough to only be one down after that start. There's a red bib coming, I think. There's a clash. Brilliant take by Jack Kerwin in the middle of the field. The goalie's jersey for on talkers. A bit of a clash. Balls in Tadden McHugh. Sean Doody gets the ball, gets it in as far as John McGrath. McGrath takes it, turns, twists back onto his right foot. Does really well, but kicks this one high. But it's gone to the left of the post and wide. Uncharacteristic, but bottom lads are getting balls into the right positions though they're finding their men inside but to just kick two wides there now John McGrath with both of them and they're a point down after five minutes here yeah similar spot from the last one he tried um, he was probably a little bit closer to the goal but um, yeah they've they kind of found those found the space for those two shots relatively easy you know to get those shots away said Toker have had more but they're working hard for them Peter Byrne kicks this ball long down the field down as far as Niall Sheen hand on it there from John Murray Knocks the ball away from Sheen. Line balls taken by Murray himself. Gets the ball in as far as Jamie Sally. He pops the ball off to Connor Davis. Davis looks up and pops a little hand pass across as far as Dara Fee. Fee drills the ball into JP Noel. Brilliant ball in in front of Noel. And on down for his man. Gets the ball to Hushin Cullen. Just eluded the grasp of Hushin Cullen. Ball is flicked away by John Murray. Caught Hushin Cullen in the face with his hand there. Comes back out to Niall Sheen. Sheen has a look. Stands into this one. Kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. Two points to no score. O'Shane Cullen took a knock in the build up to that. There was nothing malicious in it. He, he was slapping the ball away and he caught him. Yeah, whether he got him with his hand or the ball, I'm not sure. But yeah, there was nothing in it. He was going for the ball. It was just unfortunate, I think. But that's another great strike. I mean, Niall Shane struck that from, what was he, 35 yards out there into a little bit of a breeze. So. Six and a half minutes gone. O'Shane Cullen receiving treatment for a head injury. There's two points on talk or no score to bottom. That's two wides for bottom. That's three balls dropped into the hands of the keeper from on talker. So it's been a, a fast start from on talker here. And it's a good, really good open game of football. Oh, yeah, it's great so far. I mean, at most, maybe each team have had one man back. Uh, I think bottom last Billy Cullen was kind of sitting in there. And Matt Nolan has been doing the same the other side. But there's certainly no sign of kind of blanket defences yet anyway. No, it's a running game. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to watch football in fairness.
usually so good. So maybe a little bit of nerves, maybe for the first time this year, but yeah, some characters have got Huge kick down the middle from uh, Mark Jackson comes off the hand of Adam McHugh, Jordan Brady again picking up a lot of ball around that half back line there. Brady gets the ball out as far as Matt Nolan. Nolan solos up the stand side, he's 65 yards out, has a look, checks his run and pops a little ball back as far as Gavin Fogarty. Fogarty has a look up again, solos and he puts on the afterburners, pops a little pass inside to Brendan Kennedy. Kennedy in for Ushin Cullen, remember, who went off with a facial injury. He seems to be on the sideline and looks as if he might be coming back on here. There's a kick, there's a dangerous ball gone in, JP Nolan gets his hand up, danger here, brilliantly blocked down by Mark Jackson though, went to box the ball over the bar, Jackson done really well there to recover that, that was danger there, and it's really all on Toker at the minute, bottom that's, we know they've kicked two wides, but they've really only been down the field twice. Yeah, I mean that, that yet yeah, another one dropping short from on Toker, very similar to the one just before, but they almost got a hand on that one, but uh, it is another chance gone begging for them. Jason Kennedy has the ball in the middle of the field, solos forward with it, pops a little pass back here as far as uh, Paddy Kerwin. Kerwin looks up and has to assess his options. His only option he feels is give it to Kevin Murphy. Murphy gets the ball to Sean Doody. Doody has Billy Cullen running off his shoulder. Doody, or Cullen charges up the field, gets a little good foot pass in front of Tommy Kyo. Kyo out in front does really well, gets to the top of the D, kicks this one high, but that's gone to the left of the post from here and gone wide and another wide for bottom. That's with the wind in their back. Yeah, and it's a nice, like it's not a very strong win, but it's enough to make a difference. And it's three, you know, definitely two very scorable ones. Blood substitution reversal. There was a blood sub, so Brendan Kennedy is gone off the field as far as we know. Shane Cullen is now on the ball. He's back on and he's on solo with the ball. Is there are too many on top of players on the field? Brendan Kennedy come off. I think he did, but there's a touch on the ground there in the build up to that one. It'll be a free out to on top There's a little bit of misunderstanding down on the sideline here, I think, as to whether the players were on or off, but he's on. Remember, Johnny Kyo didn't start due to an injury. Billy Cullen fires the ball down in front of Adam McHugh. Brady does really well. He gets out, reads the break. McHugh is on the ground there. there. Might have been a little nudge in the back, but he done it really well. And Dara Feig has the ball in his grasp here. Jordan Brady continues his run, drills the ball down. Well, well caught out by John Murray into the hands of Sean Doody. And Billy Cullen is back there. Barton, that's with numbers back there. Just soaking up this pressure. Barton, that's at the minute. And they're soaking it up fairly well. Pat Burke has the ball. Gives it to Kevin Murphy. Murphy. Sean Doody standing in the middle of the field. He goes across as far as Jason Kennedy. Kennedy, 65 yards out. Looks to raid down on top of the town goal here. Paddy Carwin has the ball. He kicks a foot pass in as far as Dan Kelly. Kelly stands up, has a look, pops the ball into Sean Doody. Doody's 45 yards out, foot pass in as far as John McGrath. McGrath makes the run, does really well. Stephen Connor has tracked him. McGrath, this time off his right foot, kicks this one high and he kicks this one over the bar. It's two points to one and the first score after nearly really 13 minutes for bottom last, but they're only a point down and they'll be happy enough with that. They would be happy enough, yeah. That was John McGrath's third one from in around the same spot, so he wasn't going to keep missing them. Um, I, yeah, bottom last 13 minutes, time to be a point down. Like, Toker have two points. We counted, what, five short and they got blocked on another one. Like, they've had eight, nine shots and only for two points. They'll be a bit disappointed with that. Uh, they'll be sure. disappointed with that return indeed alright the kick out comes from Peter Byrne goes long down the field looking for Niall Sheen Sheen takes the ball pops a little hand pass in as far as Dara Fee Fee gives the ball to Connor Davis Davis Solos has a look up Solos again breaks the tackle of Dan Kelly and flicks a little pass out to the far side of the field again on Toker with numbers behind the ball here just looking to build from the back it was James Cardiff was on the ball there gets the ball to get the ball into the hands of Oshin Cullen to Gavin Fogarty. Fogarty pops a pass off as again to James Cardiff. Raiding forward here, gives the ball to Dara Fee. Here come on Toker. Can they put the ball over the bar this time? Can they get the scores they need to push themselves? And Jerborn pops a lovely little pass off. It's a really good build up this from on Toker. Niall Sheen gives the ball back to Jerborn. Bourne looks for a little dink pass inside to Connor. Uh, Fee Fee does really well, gets it, turns again to Bottom. That's men. 
face him up, James Cardiff gets the ball, comes all the way back as far as Dara Fee as they look to try and stretch this ball in last defence. Connor Davis is on the ball, gets the ball into Jar Bourne in space. Bourne turns inside, but immediately there's four green and white jerseys around him. Connor Davis back on the ball, look 40 yards out, comes all the way over to this uh, press box side, flicks a little ball in as far as uh, JP Nolan. Nolan tries to cut back around on his right foot, does cut back around his right foot. Oh, kicks a beauty of a score high and over the bar. Three points to one, really patient build up there, really good build up and a really good score. Yeah, they worked out really well and they weren't just kind of back and forth. You could see what they were trying to do and as they're going back and forth, they're getting, there's lads committing to running behind them and there's, they had got that pass off a little bit quicker, they could have been through for a goal, but like, uh, Dara Fee is handling a huge amount of ball out there for Antoker. He's nearly picking up every break. He's like the out ball every time. 15 minutes gone on Talker, three points, but that's one of my huge kick from Mark Jackson taken by John McGrath. There's a foul on John McGrath, could have nearly played an advantage. I think that's what John McGrath is saying, but he's happy enough. McGrath has the ball, he's looking to run his inside. Tommy Kyo has two men on him in there. He's after making two or three runs. Matt Nolan has dropped back in in front of him as well. Mark Jackson fancies his chances here, though. This is about 47 or 8 yards out, pretty much central. And he'll have a pop from here. Davis requiring a little bit of attention by the looks of things. Just taking another drink. Um, never started that fast. Yeah, he was a little bit there. Jackson in his familiar routine strikes this one. This is on to the left of the post and wide as well. It's another wide for bottom blast. Wide's racking up a little bit. It's four now. And Three for John McGrath, one for Mark Jackson. Kick out from Peter Byrne again. 16 and a half minutes on the clock. Two points in it here on Tucker Lee. Three points to one. Ball breaks in the middle of the field. Niall Sheen picks it up. Gets it out as far as Gavin Fogarty. Good tackle by referee. Oh, referee gave an advantage. I thought it was a, might have been a shade high from John Murray. Gavin Fogarty will take his free. Pops the ball back to Connor Davis. Davis deep outside his own 45 now. Travels with the ball, carries the ball so well. Davis gets the ball to Jared Bourne. Bourne is away here. 45 yards out, he's wearing down and just loses control of the ball. Billy Cullen gets back, gets a hand on the ball. Play away to the referee. Just done enough there, bottom glass. It looked like they were opening up now as a quick transition. Gets the ball to Dan Kelly. Kelly turns back inside, uh, flicks a pass to Adam McHugh. Quickly on Hawker, try to get numbers back there. Numbers in front of the ball. They do well enough to hold up the point of the attack. Really well done from Ant Hawker there because there was one on one inside or two on two, maybe. Good play, and it's in the hands of Tommy Kyo. Kyo way out on the far sideline, takes on his man. Gavin Kenny does really well. Kenny comes back for a second by him. It's a free in and a chance for Barton Lass to kick the score. But you can see what both teams are trying to do is soak up the pressure, Carmack, and, and hit quick on the transition. Quick. Yeah, they're, as I said, they're both kind of one man back, and then they're trying to really go. Um, so far, Toker have probably got out that little bit quicker and slicker. You know, they've more men committing, but like if. John McGrath taking this if he pops this over we're back to a one point game again you know and on Toker have done a lot of hard work there to try to slow them up and then relatively needless free you know to a chance for John McGrath he's about 10 or 11 yards in from the sideline he's about 24 or 5 yards out maybe 30 wind is in his back be looking to register this one. He steadies himself and takes his steps, kicks this one high. Has he done enough? It looks good. It's high and it's over the bar. And I suppose after 18 minutes on Toker, three point spot in last two. Karma, can you say like good teams know how to stay in games? And yeah. I think Barton Lass have just about done that to They've this point. Just about done it, yeah. I mean, what have you got? 10 to go roughly there? I mean, you'd be happy enough now with how things have gone if you're Kevin O'Brien and the lads there now. Even though the wind is in their back, I suppose the way they've started. The, it will be kick out his short. Takes it from him, has a look up, little bit of space in front of him. Great ball out to this line to Jordan Brady. Brady charges down the line, 
the number four here looks up sizes up his options cuts back inside free player on the far side picks out a long pass over across to james cardiff cardiff has a man outside him that man is ushing cullen cullen steps back inside gives the ball to stephen connor connor again looks to recycle gets the ball back out to james cardiff little flick pass inside to connor fee oh he's turned his man fee has done really well chance for on talker here oh a goal for on talker a goal for on talker blasted to the roof of the net connor fee looked done really well there it looked like it looked like they were probably running out of options down the short side there, Connor. Turned his man the roof of the net. Huge score. Yeah, he just sort of used his body and took a chance, let it go by him and turned him. And that's what Toker have done all year. They've gone for the throat, you know, and they get inside the 21. They go for goal more often than not. One three to two points. Huge kick down the field. Ball breaks. It's that man, Dorothy, again. Gets it, kicks it into Niall Sheen. Sheen is in space inside. Bottom does look a little bit rattled here at the minute. Ball comes out as far as James Cardiff. Chance for Cardiff. If he steadies himself, he does. But again, it's going to drop short into the hands of Mark Jackson. Another one short. And uh, just not what they wanted. Maybe not the right man in the right place at the right time. If one of the inside forwards had been there, but they weren't. And Bottom does look to build from the back and soak up the pressure. As it's four point game, 20 minutes on the clock here. Just as we said, Bottom does have been happy enough to be a point down. Now they're four down. Kevin Murphy has the ball. He goes forward, looks for Dan Kelly. Kelly, again, there's huge pressure on the ball from the, the on talk from in. But Jack Kerwin comes away from it, gets the ball to John McGrath. McGrath, he's solos down the sideline, gets to the 21. Oh, he gives. Stephen Connor the slip brilliantly done by McGrath steadies himself kicks this one high and kicks it in off the post and over the bar and in fairness I know he's kicked the wider too but he's leading the charge down there Connor. oh he is yeah yeah great response he's he's been the out ball there yeah every time into that full forward line um, and yeah I mean it was a great goal but just what Paul Glass needed really was to get a quick point it's, it's a good reply after the goal go down the field straight away and get Get a point, Peter Byrne will take the kick out. Niall Sheen is calling for it underneath us here. Sheen kicks this one long. It's coming to this side. A huge kick. Sean Doody's under with Gerburn. Ball breaks. Fisted down by Doody. Ball goes to Jason Kennedy. Kennedy clash of bodies. Both men going for the ball. Full blooded. A foot in there from John Murray and the ball. Just squirts away, but the foot was in on the player trying to pick up the ball, and it'll be a free hand hawker. be taken by Matt Nolan. Stephen Connor looks to have taken a bit of a knock. I think Stephen Connor, I think he landed awkwardly while he was trying to tackle yeah. John McGrath in that last piece of play. I think he's still suffering a bit from that. Matt Nolan takes a free, but it's loose and it's into the hands of Adam McHugh. McHugh gives his man the slip, does really well. Kevin Murphy's off his shoulder. Murphy charges to the top of the D, pops the ball to Tommy Kyo. Out as far as Paddy Curran. Curran comes back to Tommy Kyo. Maybe just behind Kyo a little bit. Uh, Done away with his chance of taking the shot. Huge hand pass there by Kyo all the way across into the hands of Adam McHugh. McHugh kicks this one high. It's dangerous, but it's dropped into the arms of Peter Byrne. That's one back, I suppose, you could say for Barton. That's ball dropping short and away come on Talker up the field. It's a foot pass trying to find Connor Davis and just a loose one that's gone out over the sideline. It'll be a Barton last line ball. And both teams now just having a little bit of a a lull there, a few yeah, mistakes. A few more mistakes. I'd say that first 20 minutes, no matter how fit you are, you need a, you're blowing after that 20 minutes. Yeah, it's taken its toll as Pat Burke has switched sides. Now he comes to this side, drills a long diagonal ball in, dangerous looking ball, finds its way into Adam McHugh. McHugh pops the ball off inside to John McGrath. McGrath breaks one tackle, breaks the second tackle. The question now is, is it inside or outside? It's hard to tell from here. I think maybe the first one is outside. Maybe, yeah. Depending on what way the referee is reading it. Contact the first contact definitely with the yard outside or something. Yeah, I, I think it depends on whether he was given an advantage or we don't know. I didn't. It's a penalty. He's given a penalty. A big call. It looked to me like the first foul may have been outside, but he, he definitely ended up on the ground. As they tell good forwards, make sure to fall forward. <laughs> <laughs> fall <laughs> forward, especially when you're in around there. So he did just that, and it's a penalty. And it looks like Mark Jackson is going to take this penalty. He's coming all the way up. Some some people no underneath is calling for a black card as well. So two, I suppose, the way on Toker played their game is like There's two they go for it. Uh, yeah. And when they've got the ball, they're coming out like they're trying the passes like they're playing lovely but passes the players have already gone gambled on them yeah. going forward and I suppose the odd time it does break down for them that's it. they're caught the bat and that's what happened the nice UK for that game is the odd ones that that ball was in that knowledge tried to play across the middle got cut out and they're on the back foot and then one went over the sideline there as well but I suppose that's the roller coaster when you play <laughs> the goalies are about to face 
gets off here. It's Mark Jackson versus Peter Von Jackson steps up, drills this one straight down. It wasn't straight down the middle, but he drilled it. Blast the ball in the back of the net. It's one three apiece here. 24 minutes gone in a pulsating encounter at the minute. Four, it might be only four scores apiece, but it's end to end stuff here. And we're, we're going to have a real humdinger. This one is going to go right down to the wire, I think. Peter Warren about to take the kick out. Bottom has to be delighted to be level on top. We've had lots of chances. Ball breaks in the middle of the field. Press breaks off there. Uh, pushing, pulling this thing off shoulder to shoulder. It's a line ball. Uh, Garrett Whelan was running up the line. Kevin O'Brien was pointing to one of his players down and then he's after hitting Garrett Whelan. A bit of a smack in the nose there. So <laughs> it was all, it was nothing malicious in it. So uh, Pat Burke takes the line ball, flicks the ball in as far as John McGrath. That man McGrath again looks to take on Gavin Fogarty. Seems to have taken up. He's blown him for over carry. Gavin Fogarty is on him now, but that also, the also takes Gavin Fogarty out of his attacking role a little bit as well. It does, yeah. I'd say they just thought he was getting so much ball that they try something, but uh, that was probably fair enough. He probably was looking for the free a little bit there. Connor Davis on the ball gets it out as far as Matt Nolan. Nolan, 45 yards out from his own goal. Dan Kelly goes to tackle. Nolan will have to take him on. Cuts back inside. Darafee looks for the ball. He wants an out ball. Finds it in the shape of uh, Jar Burn. Burn solos forward to this one. Middle of the field. 65 has a look up. Fires the ball in. Looking for Niall Sheen. Sheen is out in front. John Murray cuts back inside onto the left foot, swings the left foot. This one kicks it high and kicks it off. Each of a score from Niall Sheen. Massive score from Niall Sheen to put them a point up. 25 and a half minutes gone. That's a huge score. Yeah, I swung that. I think didn't he, get, he got one of the first two here off his right foot and he stepped onto his left and swung that over. So that was a big kick from there. Kick out will be from Mark Jackson. He's been drilling these balls long down the field all afternoon so far. He drills another one long down the field. Huge kick as Jack Kerwin goes up, clears everyone. Touch all, oh, brilliant palm there by Tommy Kyo. But the kick from Dan Kelly comes off the back of an untalker player. It's gobbled up by Kevin Fogarty. Gavin Fogarty, loose bit of a pass, but it's well collected by the midfielder. Jamie Sally gets it out as far as Stephen Connor. Connor pops the ball into Dara Fee. Fee has a look up. Again, wants an option. That option is Connor Davis. Davis right back on his own 65 starts to run tries to get a uh, forward momentum he's turned on well turned by john mcgrath and dan kelly gets him on the back foot gives the ball back to matt nolan into the hands of gavin fogarty fogarty 65 yards out from the herbst end here has a look up sizes up his option stephen connor's gone on the run fogarty twists and turns and throws the shoulder Drops the shoulder, pops the ball off eventually to Stephen Connor. Gerburn is a look up now. He wants options. Gets the ball out to Connor Fee. Out under the scoreboard, 21 yards out. Controls away his foot twice. Gets down, picks it up. Go oh, brilliantly gives the slip to Arun Daly. Then there pops it back inside to Jamie Sally. Gets the ball back, but huge numbers back there from Barton. That's real good defensive work there. They've got the ball out, but it's only as far as Gerburn gets the ball to O'Shane Cullen. On talker, look to reset here with uh, Connor Davis. Davis is straight in front of the goal, 45 yards out, but again, opts to come back, gets the ball back as far as Matt Nolan. Nolan solos with this one, has a look up, tries to get that ball into Connor Fee, does get that ball into Connor Fee, gets the ball out to James Cardiff, out as far as Matt Nolan. Nolan has come up with the attack, gets the ball to Dara Fee. Fee has Adam McHugh in his case. Good block down there, it's gone for a 45. It'll be a 45, but... Brilliant defensive work there, like patient build up for Ron Toker, but brilliant defensive yeah, work by yeah. Barton Glass as well. Yeah, Barton Glass stood up well to that one, all right. Um, on Toker just as I said they're so committed to getting forward when they have the ball, and you saw it there again, like there's always a man going in behind to give them that option. Um, but they're, they're moving the ball well, and for all that positivity, as you said, now you're what a point up at this stage. Some again, Barton Glass are just, they're just doing enough, they're just doing enough, I think, at the back. Yeah, yeah. It's early to say, but they're kind of hanging in there just as it stands, you know. JP Nolan will kick this one, drills it long, high into the rails, going to tail off to the left, though it does tail off to the left and wide. And it'll be a, a kick out to Mark Jackson. We have 28, we're just over 28 minutes gone in this one. It's on Toker 1 4, bottom last 1 3, in a, in a humdinger here in Ockram. Mark Jackson sets himself up. To take the kick, Jason Kendi makes a run down underneath us here. He's taking his time over this one, Jackson. Referee will surely 
Blown shortly, no. He takes and drills it right down the middle. Jack Kerwin is underneath, palms the ball down, and it's taken by Dan Kelly. Kelly does really well. Tries to find a pass into Adam McHugh, but it's well read by Connor Davis. Davis has been everywhere around the field, in fairness, in this first 28, 29 minutes now. We're just coming up to half time here. Can on Talker get a score before half time? Will Barton has turned him over. Kevin Murphy just got a hand on that one. Ball is back with Fogarty here. A little pass from Jamie Selly to him. He sets up. Again, tackled by Dan Kelly. Barton, that's doing ferocious work off the ball here, to be fair. Can they stick it? Uh, on, t on Talker are in a, having a lot of possession, but as we said, Barton, that's are just holding, holding firm at the minute. Gavin Fogarty gets the ball. Has a look up again, Barton. That's just push up in their lines and make life difficult for him. Jerborn fires the ball down in as far as... Uh, uh, Dara Fee. Fee looks to take on his man Jack Kerr and twists and turns and has a look gets the ball on his right foot, pops a little pass in in front of Niall Sheen but just hopped from his grasp at the wrong time, down on the ball went John Murray, really well done by Murray to pop the pass to Sean Doody, it's in the hands of Billy Cullen, Cullen gets the ball out as far as uh, Arun Daly Dan on the far side there, John Doody has the ball in his hand, Solos looks up, Solos again tries to cut back inside but give the ball to Jason Kennedy Kennedy gets uh, hands on the ball and gives it to Jack Kerwin Barton that's just looking to take the sting out of things now by the looks of things we're into injury time here two minutes of injury time we have to play the ball is in the hands of Pat Burke Burke has a runner off his shoulder it's Billy Cullen Cullen has continued forward with no one on him John McGrath does really well there's options outside him chance here for the little one two with Jason Kennedy left the ground maybe with that tackle some to say that oh good play though good cover by Jordan Brady again he's done really well the ball has gone out half Jason Kennedy and it's wide and Barton Glass just bided their time but Billy yeah. Cullen had made a run there it was completely unmarked on the far side if Jason Kennedy had went the other way instead yeah. of the 1-2 they came in a line of three and he just he went right instead of left yeah, if yeah, they had yeah. gone left with that there was 20 yards of space in front of the goal there just yeah. about 40 seconds into injury time we have two minutes of injury time in this one there's a bit of a head injury to one of the for one of the on talker lads so Referee Noel Kintz has taken no chances. I think it's Gavin Kenny is down. Let me see. A lot of players, a lot of players down under hunter hunters here. This has been this game has been played at a savage pace, savage intensity, and even you know when either team is out of possession, the work they're doing off the ball, Cormac, is, is unbelievable. To look. We, we have a good view of it here. It's huge, yeah. yeah. I'd say that I'll be happy enough if he blew it up now for half time. There's lads down under hunkers there. Kick out from Peter Byrne goes long down the middle of the field. Huge kick from him looking for Ger Byrne. Oh, brilliant take by Byrne in the middle of the field. Takes his mark in the forest of players. Move it up, says the referee. Paddy Kerwin didn't let him take it as quick as he wants, so he's moving it up. Ger Byrne will take this free... Has a look, pops the ball off to Matt Nolan. Nolan on the raid up the field. Now the number six pops a great pass in front of JP Nolan. Hand, hand in, oh, brilliantly defended there. Wonderful play by Kevin Murphy, I think, is back there, is it? No, it's Chris Grimes. Chris Grimes got hand. Brilliant play by him. Looked like JP Nolan was odds on favourite to get that, and he'd done really well to take it he from him. He was trying to do the exact same thing as Connor Fee did for the goal. He was just trying to lean into him with the body, but. Was it Chris Grimes? Grimes didn't, done didn't, really, didn't really well. And, he, uh, and there's the half-time whistle. It's on Hawker 1-4, Barton less 1-3 here in a delicately poised uh, boom and platform higher senior football championship semi-final. Uh, Cormac, this one could really go anywhere. We knew it was probably going to be tight. You know, as I said, Barton has a point down after playing with the wind. Would they probably be happy enough to be just a point down? Yeah, they probably would be happy enough to be just that down. Um, like there's it is ju just when you think say on Toker or getting on top ball and glass have done enough and they've got down like they got the penalty at the right time they got their goal um, you know they got was it John McGrath got a point there at one stage just as Toker were building momentum so they've hung on as you say I know that's a funny thing to say in the first half but they've sort of hung on a little bit um, so you could see either side of the coin if you're a manager of either team you might be happy enough like you know to be going in a point up for on Toker playing against the wind you would be happy, but then similarly, Kevin O'Brien probably thinking we're lucky enough to be a pony a point in it. Um, the, as I said, it's going to be a, small things in it, so like there is a bit of a breeze there in the second half now for Toker, whether that plays any part. But 
Yeah, look, um, we're going to take a quick break here. As I said, it's on talker one four bottom, that's one three. Cracking first half we're after having it should be equally as good as second half, so make sure and tune back in for the second half here and what's going to be a cracking last thirty minutes of this one. GAA. We all belong here, in this place, at this time. We belong not because of who we are or where we come from. Being here means belonging. Belonging means knowing you're part of a community. A community that has a place for all. Where potential is nurtured. Where individuals become teams. 
who honour the legacy of those who went before and strive to build a legacy of their own. Some of us play, some of us used to play, some of us never played. We all belong. Belonging means having a voice, means being able to say what you think is right, being listened to. Belonging means respecting each other, means being there for each other, on the pitch, off the pitch. Belonging means rolling our sleeves up and doing what needs to be done. We all belong, whether it's our first day or our hundredth year. We all belong here because this place belongs to us all. Our GAA, where we all belong. We all need somewhere. We who live for the day that might never come. We who go back again and again to where we come from. We who won't stop until we're unstoppable. We who will never say no to getting stuck in. We who pass on every tradition and skill that was passed on to us. We who love the days that come forever. Him, her, them, us. We all need somewhere that belongs to us all. GAA, where we all belong.
You're all very welcome back to Akram here for the second half of our Bowman platform higher senior football championship semi final between Antoker and Barton last. This is a delicately balanced game. It's 1 4 Antoker, 1 3 Barton last. We've had uh, a cracking first half here. Barton last after playing with the wind, the point down, probably happy enough Antoker after making a lot of chances that they didn't finish. So Antoker just come out to the field. A huge crowd from Roundwood here as well supporting their team. Uh, massive 30 minutes in store here, Carmack. if it stops at 30. Yeah, yeah, and um, you could see it. There's not going to be a point or two in it either way. As you said, we might be here a bit longer. Um, but yeah, it's been a super match, and I think it's just, I think it's going to come down to, uh, what, from what I'm looking at, is whether Toker can keep that intensity up, whether they can keep going um, at the pace they're going. Like they're get, Their style of play is real high intensity. Go, go, go. So, if they've got that in the legs, then I think they're going to be right there. Um, the wind will the wind have any impact in the second half? It's hard to know the brand of football. I suppose with regards to shooting, maybe you know, on Hawker won't fear shooting from maybe 30, 40 yards, forty yards out. You know, yeah. Baden has probably have to work at that little yeah. bit closer to get their shots away. I think so. I think for me, I'm just wondering who's going to kick the points for Bolton Glass. Like who will kick? You know, who's going to kick the six or seven points they might need in this half? You know. Ball is in and the gale is on and uh, first blood to Antoker. Connor Davis takes the ball, takes it into contact, looks up, drills a long ball in. Oh, it's hopped over the head of a run daily Dan Danger here. Connor Fee is in, pops a little pass off as far as uh, JP Nolan. He kicks this one high. It's hanging dangerously right under the crossbar. It's gone high and it's gone over the bar from JP Nolan. Uh, really good start from Antoker there. A uh, great kick from JP Nolan just took it. Could have been probably a goal chance on there as well. Could have been uh, when Connor Fee got it first. He could have tapped it over the bar, but as we said in the first half, when they get inside, they go for it. They go for the throw. So. 1 5 to 1 3, two points in it here. Huge kick from Jackson down the field. Ball breaks in front of. We have number 19 is on. Tyga Tool is on for Barton. That's we just find out who's gone. Ball is in to Adam McHugh. McHugh looks up again, lobs a high ball in. It's almost a back ball that fist on it, but breaks to Jason Kendi. Just gets away from Kendi. Uh, runs into the Antalker back there. Gets the ball as far as Tommy Kyo. But Barton has looked to work the ball into a scoring position. Sean Doody has the ball. And passes it out here as far as Adam McHugh. McHugh fancies his chances from there. Kicks this one high, but dropped into the hands of Peter Byrne. The wind must, might be stronger than we think, maybe. Allowing for all the balls that dropped in in the first half. Yeah, and that was a very similar looking kick to the ones Bo Toker had been doing um, in terms of the flight of the ball and all. So, yeah, maybe the wind is that little bit stronger. Um, and I think that's... Is that Dara Fee down? Dara Fee is down he injured. holding his arm there and... And off the ball and kind of went down. Referee says to play away, it's not a head injury on Toker. Take the free, they're deep in their own 14. Ball's in the hands of Jordan Brady. Brady looks up, goes back to Peter Byrne with the ball, comes out. Adam McHugh tries to put pressure on him. John McGrath tries to put pressure on him. Little hand pass away as they try to work their way out of trouble. They've done well to get the ball to Shane Cullen. Cullen takes on Pat Burke. Uh, heavy tackle there from Burke. Cullen gets his kick away, but under pressure, kicks it straight to Kevin Murphy. Murphy raids up the field to number seven here now. Gives the ball to Sean Doody. Wills him forward. Kevin Murphy was screaming at him to get forward with the ball there. Tommy Kyo has the ball in possession. Back as far as Carl Furlong. Furlong is now in the game as well, but there's two must be two changes. He's kicked the ball away. On Toker have pinched it in the way they come up the field. There's only two men right in the inside line for on Toker as uh, Stephen Connor picks this one up, has a look, steps inside. Oh, his pal is taken from a brilliant tackle by Pat Burke and Burke is away to number eight. Heels Burke has won this battle. With a good tackle by Dara Fee. Loose ball inside breaks to Jason Kennedy. There's a chance here for Baden as again a heavy challenge on Jason Kennedy. He'll be a free in and Probably a good free to give away because Adam McHugh was inside on his own if that ball had got to him. It probably was, yeah. And it's a real sort of game of just inches, like because Stephen Connor here just below us, he was just a little bit slow getting his head up there and he tried to do a kick pass when your man was right on him. If he had to flick that over the top, as you said, it was nearly a three on two from Toker, albeit from a long way out. Yeah, it's a free to Barton. That's John McGrath has. This one, it's just to the left-hand side of the post. He's just outside the 14-yard or the 21-yard line here with this one. Should be a bread-and-butter kick for the likes of John McGrath. McGrath steps up to this one. He'll kick right foot into the breeze, but should be no problem. Kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. It's 1-4 to 1-5. Paddy Kerwin is one of the players gone off for 
brought in last tie got hole is in and we'll just find out who the other one is in a minute. Peter Byrne to take the kick out. Barton Dash tried to press high, but he goes short to Stephen Connor. Connor just outside his own 21 gets the ball. As far as James Cardiff back inside is on Tucker. Look to build right from the back here. Jamie Sally has the ball, gets it in to uh, James Cardiff again. Cardiff gets the ball to Connor Davis. Davis deep in his own half. James Cardiff has made a run to take the ball from. Gets that ball. Adam McHugh is in pursuit, but Cardiff is away. He's on the 65, heading for the town goal. Has a look up. In front of him is Ger Byrne. Byrne takes the pass. Long hand pass inside to JP Nolan. Nolan comes on the loop. He'll fancy his chances, will he? No. Solos a half loads as far as Oshin Cullen gives it back to Nolan. Nolan tries to evade two tackles with Barton. Let's gobble him up there. Two huge tackles. Chris Grimes and Sean Doody do really well. And Grimes wins his free. As you said, a game of inches here is nothing. There's yeah. nothing being left out there. The slightest hesitation or mistake is being gobbled up by the other team and away come Barton Lass up the field long ball inside again looking for Tommy Kyo does it know gets a hand John McGrath gets a hand on it but oh <laughs> Carl Furlong was away there and it's he's got his free John McGrath it was a push in the back alright but he'd have liked to have got the advantage if you were Barton Lass I think probably would have there yeah he had a clean run through coming in off the, off the sideline here but um, it's just something something about Toker there in the first five minutes they're look a bit hesitant or something on the ball like in the first half they were just pinging the passes they were moving it really fast that's twice already they're after being caught in possession just looking a little bit unsure of whether to go what to do even JP uh, Nolan there with that one he thought first time he was going to have a go at it um, and he just hung on to it that little bit so yeah it looks like Dan Kelly is the other one that has been replaced for Barton Lass as well so Mark Jackson will fancy his chances here. He, we know he has the distance even against the breeze. He's about 40 yards. Oh, what a connection from that one. It's high and it's over the bar. Huge kick. It was a real bang off of that when he connected with it. That might be answering the question about who's going to kick the points for them in this half. But two frees. Now, what's that? Is that two? Uh, they have one point from play or two points from play? But the freeze and the penalty, I mean... If, if that's what you're going to kick then that'll keep you in it they'll count all the same the minute has it is. it's level here in Barton as we have just about six minutes on the clock Peter Byrne kicks this one long down the field didn't really catch it but Connor Davis makes the most of it wins the ball in front of Sean Doody there ball breaks out here as far as uh, Matt Nolan Nolan takes a solo checks back and gives the ball out as far as uh, Hugh Kenna Kenna is on for Roundwood there for Stephen Connor, Hugh Kenna wearing number 16. Ball is out into the hands of Jordan Brady. Brady solos forward, has a look up. Dara Fee demands the ball, but Gavin Fogarty has made a run into space. Brilliant run by Fogarty. Three bottom last men come after him. Fogarty kicks this on the run. That goes over the bar. That is some score. Was just gone to the right of the post and wide. I thought it was just going to creep inside. It would have been some score, but a great run again by Fogarty. As you said, he was just, he was just at the end of the first half. Pulling up a little bit, he was after covering so much ground, but he seems to have got his second wind. He does, yeah, I think, and at least he was a bit more decisive there. You know, the shot was on, and he took it. Um, said it was a difficult one, but struck it well and just drifted a bit wide. Long kick out again from Mark Jackson, but it's out and over the line. He didn't quite catch it the way he wanted. It'll be an on talker line ball. Be taken quickly by Jamie Sally. Knocks it back in as far as Connor Davis. Davis on the move again. Tries always tries to bring forward momentum to his team. Gerald Byrne gets the ball, pops a little pass inside to JP Nolan. Nolan checks his run, gets the ball it's back as far as Connor Fee. Fee steps inside, tries to get back onto that left foot, but Barton does do enough to contain him for now. A drill ball across the field and it's picked off there by uh, Carl Furlong. Furlong does really well and away come Barton Lass up the field with Tiger Tool. A tool launches the ball. Brilliant long diagonal ball in the front of Tommy Kyo. Kyo does really well. Gets away from his man. Chance here for Barton Lass. Ball had him a Kyo. Little one to it. Tommy Kyo. Kyo gets the ball. Drills it high and drills it over the bar. And if there's a lesson to play how against the wind, that's how you do it. That was brilliant. Yeah, brilliantly worked score. And again, um, for Toker there, um, Connor Fee had had a chance there to just take that shot and just again something about him since halftime he just hesitated again and it was a pass back out and just didn't quite give it went for the cross field ball as we said in the first half when you play that style and you make a mistake and that was it Bolton Lass got them Bolton on the break Bolton Lass got them on the break up the field a brilliant break and two subs that came in as well linking up Carl Furlong linking up really well with Tygo Toole great ball into Tommy Kyo little one two and the ball is over the bar Luke Kenny, it's is uh, number sixteen for for uh, on talker. Sorry, we've got the wrong name here on the program. So it's Luke Kenny is in as 
and Talker come raiding down the field with Jordan Brady again Brady on the ball Sean Doody tries to gain a tackle Brady has a look up assesses the situation solos and has a look holds up the point of the attack a uh, ball is fired out as far as Matt Nolan Nolan wearing number six gives the ball to Jordan Brady all the way back across back across the field here so Barton that's looked to set up their lines of marking there's a lot of Fingers pointing where to go. It's James, Jamie Sally is on the ball, takes the ball into contact, gets the ball out as far as James Cardiff. Cardiff hand passes the ball down the line as far as Jerborn Burn pops it off. Tushing Cullen. Cullen has a look again. There's huge numbers back for Barton Lass right in front of the goal there. But a talker being patient here. Matt Nolan on the ball again, gets it out as far as Connor Davis. Davis picks it up at the second attempt. No Barton Lass player in the uh, top end of the field whatsoever Connor Davis on the ball breaks the tackle does really well Davis Jason Kendi tracks his run gets the ball back out as far as Dara Fee Fee looks up Connor Fee was looking for the ball doesn't get it Dara Fee right however understand Kevin Murphy gets the ball and puts him under pressure and again just that little bit of indecisiveness and Barton last got their their uh, defensive zones really well there and a little bit of indecisiveness and Barton Lass are coming back yeah. raiding up the field I think as we looked at it there was nobody inside the 45 uh, on this end and there was only three people inside the uh, on Toker half so um, yeah Barton Lass just are shutting them down there as they're going forward and they come on the march back up the field again Jason Kendi give the ball out as far as Adam McHugh McHugh 45 yards out on the stand side checks his run gets the ball back into Sean Doody Doody Passes the ball back to Billy Cullen. Cullen gives the ball to Kevin Murphy. Murphy comes solo and forward. Bit of forward momentum. Ball is in the hands of Pat Burke. Burke looks up. Again, he's going to have to take on his man. Gives the ball into John McGrath. Oh, drop of the shoulder there by McGrath. Does really well. Two hops though, just at the minute. And again, I suppose we talked about a little bit of indecisiveness before. He just got caught in two minds there. He just got caught in two minds. I think he was going to give the pass. But um, Bolton has to be very happy with this. You know, that first 10 minutes to have to kick three points, is it? Three points, yeah, and got themselves right back into this one. There's a chance here for on Talker to build from the back. Peter Byrne came out with the ball, gave the ball to Connor Davis. Peter Byrne is urging lads to go forward with him. Ball is out on the far side line. Connor Fee has come all the way out from the goal now. Launches a ball in as far as JP Nolan. Nolan does really well, gets around his man, has a chance, has he look to get the hand in but there's a hand in and another hand in from Barton that's there good defending again there's a tussle on the ground it's going to be a throw ball as there was no foul come ahead but again just it's just that dogged defending that bit of experience yeah. Billy Cullen Kevin Murphy these lads they're just just doing enough they're getting the hand in as soon as the Antoker lads hesitate at all they're getting the hand in and they're creating contact whereas in the first half Toker were staying out of the contact ball is taken by Niall Sheen it's a free in. The referee, I think, was running up the field. He gave it the wrong way. So he thought he, he was running away up the field. Either that, he was sure on talker going to kick it over the bar, one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's the first one, though. It'll be a chance for JP Nolan here to restore parity in this. Just about 12 minutes on the clock. A one-point game here in Ockram in the boom and platform higher senior football championship semi-final. It's delicately poised. JP Nolan kicks this one high, but it's gone to the right of the post and wide. And one you'd probably have expected him to kick. He'd probably expect to kick it himself. It's a chance gone a begging. And as you said, there's fine margins. Yeah, that's their first shot after 12 or 13 minutes of the second half with the wind at their back. They seem to have changed their strategy here. Like, Every kick out, they're going short now. They're trying to work it out from the full back line, and they're just finding it that bit harder to get through ball. Now. Huge kick out there, taken brilliantly, taken over there by Tygo Tool. Balls played up the line. Adam McHugh tries to get. Oh, he done really well to get to that first. Probably was a little eye on their soul. Wins his free, wins his advantage. Brilliant play there by McHugh. Long ball in as well, looking danger for John McGrath. McGrath tries to get to a heavy tussle between the two players there. Just. Uh, on talker player wins he's free eventually everything it's dog eat dog out there at the minute you know John McGrath a huge battle in there with uh, Gavin Kenny at the minute like it's changed completely this half from the first half was so open and puts it this is a dog fight now this is scrappy and it's fighting for ball on the ground Peter Byrne get, takes the free back in the, right in his own 14 it's Connor Davis again solos with the ball has a look John McGrath puts pressure on it's a free out though he was in a bit high with the tackle, but that pressure was there. Yeah, it was there. And as we just said there, Toker seemed to be playing a bit shorter now, out from the back. But Bolton Glass have pushed right up as well. They're gone man on at the back. Like, everybody is pushed up now, so they're, like, they're putting more pressure on them further up the field, I think, as well. 
kick is taken and Hawker are away down the field again and here they come Raiden there's a chance here brilliant ball in Toshin Cullen Cullen is in space has a look at his options passes the ball off to Connor Fifi tries to dink his way inside but again comes back out gets the ball to Jordan Brady Bodden does have done enough it was 2-on-2 two two there for a second but a chance for Jordan Brady here a huge kick for Jordan Brady he's been very very good all day Brady and he's kicked the point and the sides are level here in Ockram 1-6 apiece here after 14 minutes anyone's game Carmel. yeah that was a great score and they really needed that you know if you've gone 15 minutes with no score just maybe a doubt or two would start seeping in as well and the same thing you know as you said a little bit of indecisiveness from the forwards Jordan Brady comes up and kicks the ball over the kicks bar as much to say this is how it's done lads yeah, and maybe that'll settle them Mark Jackson goes long down the middle of the field huge kick ball breaks brilliant play by Jack Kerwin almost palmed the ball down to himself Dara Fee tries to get a hand in Adam McHugh's coming more into the game as well Tommy Keogh picks this one up Luke Kenny is on him looks like a free it is a free as an advantage says the referee then there's a pull on Adam McHugh as well it'll be a free into Baden last and it's just that intensity of that game is still there like they're still playing yeah. at a huge pace yeah they are in fairness um, so it's kind of a slightly different type of intensity now it's more tackle more contact more you know lads are running into the tackle a little bit more you, you know maybe so there's a long way to go and maybe they'll come back up but you wonder if that first half did we were wondering did it take a lot out of on Toker just with the style of play and you'd think there that 10 or 15 minutes would suggest maybe it did but you know, that score might settle them now and get him. you'd expect this one to go over so there might be a back a point down again. John McGrath to take this free. Jason Kennedy has been replaced by Patrick Whelan. It's something being said or something being done there. So John McGrath was going to thinking about taking it quickly. The referee's warning someone that if he hears that again, it'll be, it seemed to be verbal, whatever it was. So he's moved the right in in front of the goal. That'll be it. A more simple operation now for John McGrath here. McGrath steps up, just makes sure he kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. It's 1 7 to Barton, that's 1 6 to Ron Talker. We have just about 16 minutes gone. Brendan Kennedy is about to be introduced for Ron Talker for Jamie Sally in the middle of the field. in a big shift around that middle third there's no place for the faint heart of that middle third of the field today I'll tell you long ball down again a fist on it there by uh, John Murray Murray does well but it's into the arms of Gavin Fogarty Fogarty pops the ball off as far as Brendan Kennedy immediately into the play gives the ball out to Shane Cullen Cullen back to Fogarty Gavin Fogarty has a look up again Barton that's putting huge pressure on the player of the wall but Gavin Fogarty's away oh he's done really well brilliant play by Fogarty uh, met up by Kevin Murphy but he hasn't stopped him looks to be a pull back there by Kevin Murphy a decision maybe to be made here by um, Noel Kinsley yellow or black I'd say he'll go yellow yeah I'd say so um, I mean Again, you'd, easy from up here, but you'd wonder about that foul. There was he was about to run into two bottom glass lads, and he had two coming behind him, um, and just got pulled back at the at the collar. Has he given him anything? I didn't see any card there, so just had a chat with him. Yeah, sure. Maybe he's the friendly type, Noel Kinsley. He doesn't like giving away cards lightly. Chance for JP Nolan. To restore parity again, Nolan kicks this one high, but this one has gone to the right of the post and wide again. It's just a couple there now from JP, and it's not like him. Another change for Barton Lass here. Tom Burke is coming in. Kevin Murphy, is it? Kevin Murphy is going to go, and Tom Burke is coming in. So Barton Lass ringing the changes. We said 13 minutes to go in this one. Not a bad sub to have Tom Burke. Long ball down the field again from Jackson. Huge kick. Jack Kerwin gets to it first. Patrick Whelan picks up the pieces. Turns inside. Good play by Whelan. Gets the ball off to Sean Doody. Doody goes long, high hanging ball into the square there. It's dangerous. There's a hand on the inside. The ball breaks down on Tolker. Just about doing enough. Uh, Cara, John McGrath's got in. Oh, brilliant save by Peter Byrne. Ball just pinging around in there. John McGrath got a boo and it looks like a pick off the ground but Adam McHugh gets in along the end line. Danger here. Boxes the ball high. It's not even gone wide. Jordan Brady picks this one up. Thought there might have been a free in there but no, he can stop it to let play go on. Jordan Brady in control, in possession now and uh, hearts in mouth stuff there for the Antoker fans underneath is here. They've 
got away with that one. Hand in there, good turnover, is it? No, it's not. Free, says the referee, play away. It's into the hands of Brendan Kennedy. Kennedy pops the ball off as far as James Cardiff. Cardiff stood up by Tom Burke, though. Loose pass there. Burke gets his hands on the ball, picks it up and takes the ball out of contact. Good play there into the hands of Tygo Tool. Tool pings the ball across. As far as Tommy Keogh, Keogh looked for the mark, he couldn't take it because the ball came from inside the 45. But a huge score from Tommy Keogh. A massive score there now as Barton lets go into a two-point lead. And, you know... I know we talked about barring a goal, but two points looks a huge lead in this game at it, this stage. It does now, just with the way. I mean, Coker have had one point, I think, there in, what, 20 minutes odd. Um, said they're just... A long ball in, ball breaks to Gerard Byrne. We talked about a goal. This could be it. Byrne is bearing down a goal chance. A run daily then comes across with Connor Fee. Gets the ball and blasts the ball to the back of the net. And Toker back in the game just and it looked like Bart and Lass had answered all the questions. Gerard Byrne broke down the field, slipped the ball to Connor and he blasts the ball to the net for the second goal for his second goal of the game 2-6 to Hogger 1-8 to Barton that's 19 and a half minutes on the clock there's going to be a huge last 10 minutes in this one ball breaks in the middle of the field Barton last winning it's out as far as Pat Burke Burke raids forward gets the ball into Tommy Keogh just slips from his grasp Jack Kerwin had made the run ball breaks off Kerwin again it's a tussle on the ground it's won though by Pat Burke doesn't pick it up at the first attempt John McGrath does goes to ground three men around him slips to treat him oh brilliant play by John McGrath gets the ball out as far as Pat Burke and Jack Kerwin is in acres of space inside chance for Kerwin boxes the ball across and McHugh goal for Barton Glass in 10 stuff here the game has opened up a brilliantly worked goal by Barton Glass just when it looked like on Toker might ignite themselves into the match Barton last go to the other end of the field what a couple of minutes Carmack 2-8 Barton has 2-6 on Toker unbelievable Jack Kerwin I'd say didn't re- he was in so much space just as like they had forgotten about him and I thought he'd box it over the bar to be honest but he spotted McHugh at the far side had done really well Connor Fee is on the ball it's end 10 stuff here now in the boom and plat- platform higher senior football championship semi-final chance for JP Nolan to kick off the right foot this time he does kicks it high and over the bar one point game here oh massive couple of minutes there the last minute and a half or two minutes have been it's been crazy football but it's great football to yeah, watch yeah there was more in the last two minutes than the first 20 I think clearly there but um, I thought it was a great response by Bolton Glass like really was because um, that goal would have lifted on Toker but as you said there's nothing in it what point back to a point 2-8 to 2-7 here JP Nolan a huge kick for them to answer that goal there ball back down the field again and Toker come red and they're not going away on Toker they've had every chance but Conor Fee misses that one a run daily Dan does enough to take it from Patrick Whelan is the ball gets the ball to Tom Burke Barton that's have numbers across the line there to spread it out Sean Doody's in possession Doody where number 8 looks like he's pulling up with a bit of cramp there Doody ball is into the hands of Pat Burke Burke breaks the tackle away up the field goes Burke very good at raiding up the field he was, had played a massive game in the final two years ago he's away again brilliant hand pass inside as far as uh, John McGrath McGrath looks for a free he asks for the free almost and he gets a free he was being dragged back oh it's really we thought we were we were asking at what stage were these teams going to get tired it seems like they're going they're just getting they're going faster now than yeah, the ball, I think they they probably took a little bit of a rest there for the first 10 or 15 minutes but uh they're gone again there now, yeah, and that's two. Is that Sean Doody went down? He, yeah. he pulled up there, but he's down now with a bit of cramp. Um, but yeah, really, really intense stuff there for the last five minutes or so. Um, Both teams answering every question that they're throwing at one another, though. It's 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 huge game. At the minute, as I said, we're we're into the last eight, seven and a half minutes of this one. Bottom last lead by a point. It co- should be two. John McGrath, twenty-one yards out, about five or six yards to the to the right hand post as we look at it in down on the Herbst end a chance for McGrath to eke a two point lead and a two point lead it is 2-9 to Barton that's 2-7 to Antalker just went just when we think that the game is just easing off a bit. Something else happens. We have a sub coming in. Kieran Murphy is entering the fray for Oshin Cullen, is it? Yeah, that's a big, <coughs> that's a big one. Kieran Murphy in for Oshin Cullen. Long ball down the field. Huge. Sean Doody's underneath. The cramp hasn't got the better of Doody. He wins that ball. Passes it forward. Adam McHugh. McHugh 
over on the far side, 21 yards out. He'll cut back inside. He does cut back inside. Has a look, has a check. Three blue jerseys around him. Gets the ball back to Sean Doody. Doody pops a pass back to Tom Burke here. Burke has a little look. Gets the ball into Tommy Kyo. Kyo on the loop. Kyo has won a lot of ball, a lot of dirty ball in this half. He's won out in front really well. He's done really well. As of a lot of lads, ball is in the hands of Pat Burke now. Through the hands there. Out Ty got hold back into Tom Burke, Billy Cullen, little bit of experience about him that's starting to tell here now as they just try to punch a hole in their holding possession, working on Talker hard off the ball. Ball is out here to uh Carl Furlong. Furlong looked like a lose pass. Billy Cullen has it now, gets the ball into Pat Burke, bit of space in front of Burke. He won't be afraid to run into it, he won't be afraid to kick at the post, but it's gone to the left of the post and wide. They could have done probably with that score after all that possession. Yeah, he and he could have gone another five or six yards there there was nobody coming to, to close him down but um, takes another minute or two off the clock 24 and a half minutes gone kick out is taken Connor Davis is on the ball just start a fee ties his lace Brendan Kennedy gets on it gives the ball out to James Cardiff Cardiff raids forward here now uh, Carl Furlong goes after him has a look up kicks left foot long high dangerous looking ball in fist on it from a run daily then just breaks it away Kieran Murphy's first to it gets inside his man it'll be a free in from there it'll be a free for Conor Fee and we should reduce it to a point again Carmel should do it's in a nice spot for him on the left foot with a little bit of a breeze at his back but they were gone there it was as you might say it was a good free to concede it that one a bad free, yeah, were, he just looked to have got inside and he'd cut inside the player as well so for Barton that probably wasn't the worst free you ever gave away Chance now for Conor Fee to put the minimum between the sides here. If he can swing this one over, he's 11 or 12 yards in from the sideline. Sue him on the left foot. He's been very good all year. Almost silence here in Ockram. Kicks this one high, straight over the bar. Huge kick, huge kick for Antoker. Puts them back within a point. 2-8 on Antoker, 2-9 to Barton. That's just about 25 and a half minutes, nearly 26 minutes gone in this one. Three and a half or four to go. Kick out will be from Mark Jackson. It'll go as long and as far from that goal. I'd say as he can get it, it does. It's high, it's hanging in the breeze. What a kick against the wind. Ball breaks, Antoker have possession. Uh, little ball inside and Matt Nolan's away Put tug on the jersey but it didn't stop him there's a line of Antoker players coming if he takes the right option Nolan's option is to kick this one but it's gone to the right of the post and wide he had options right and left he backed himself but it didn't happen yeah there was a man running off his left shoulder there and he was clean through he had to give him that pass but I suppose a one point game he stepped in with the wind at his back 30 yards out probably thought it's worth a pop it's worth a pop to level the game it's 2-8 to 2-9 one point game 26 and a half minutes gone Noel Kinsley is telling Mark Jackson you can take as long as you want but I'm going to add a horn at the end Kevin O'Brien is asking the linesman how long is left if you're a point down you want you want him to say 10 minutes if you're a point up you want him to tell you it's over a long kick again huge hanging kick in the air attacked by both of them but falls into the arms of Tom Burke Burke is away with this one again he just Side, oh, sidesteps his way but it's a loose pass Jack Kerwin looks to go down the ball Gavin Fogarty gets to a first oh great tackle and turnover by Burke he might have given away the pass he's retrieved it though he's, he's uh, fixed the damage really quick chance here for Bodenas maybe as they get the ball into the hands of Patrick Whelan Whelan kicks this one is there enough on it oh what a kick from the substitute Whelan lobs the ball over the bar I just was, when it was in the air I was saying is there enough <laughs> yeah. on it landed in the top of the net huge score at this stage of the game two point game and when you talk about experience there I think the last five or ten minutes the two Burks uh, have been brilliant there while Tom Burke winning that break and they've really just sort of drove drove them forward from around the halfway yeah they've been immense the two Burks as I said it's a fair bench to have when the two of them can be on it I know Pat started but away come on talker looking to build from the back they need to find something in the next couple of minutes they've two minutes plus injury time to do it that's not the ball they wanted Connor Davis has looked that looked a tired kick. He's out on his feet. He's covered every blade of Ockram. Sean Doody just waits. Oh, he just done enough. Brilliant play by Doody in the end. But he's lucky he hadn't got his pocket picked there. The hand pass from Tom Burke out as far as Doody. He'll go back to Burke. Barton lets a look to hold possession and build. Tommy Kiao's on the ball. Steps inside. Does really well. Little foot pass in. Oh, brilliant foot pass in. There's no mark. In as far as Ty got hold. Back to Tommy Kiao. Kicks this one high. Kicks this one over the bar. And 
Huge score for Barton last to put three in this one. Brilliantly worked. A wonderful score again. Yeah, you'd, I hope, you'd hope the Toker have one more kick in them, but they just look like tired bodies out there now. Um, like Connor Davis has been brilliant, but that kick, that was a tired kick, as you said yourself. You covered every blade of Auckland ball is in the hands of the Antalk man. Peter Byrne, the, Byrne, the goalie, came out with the ball, trying to drive his team forward into Dara Fee. Brendan Kennedy has a look up. Pops a ball down along the line in as far as JP and Nolan. It hops though. It's almost a backs ball. It is a backs ball. Chris Grimes comes out. Oh, he's overturned brilliantly by Connor Fee. Fee does really well. Gets himself into a shooting position. Barton, that's still get numbers back there. Just done enough. Ball is out to James Cardiff. Cardiff come, cuts back inside. Connor Davis is all on his own at the far side of the field. It's a brilliant pass and a brilliant take by Davis into JP and Nolan. Nolan has a yard there. Kicks this one high. Kicks it high. But this one has gone to the left of the post and wide. And just when they needed a score to get themselves back in the game, it's a wide, we're into the last minute of normal time. Barton last lead, this one 2 11 to Antalkers 2 8 in the Boom and Platform Higher Senior Football Championship semi final. What a cracking game we've had here in this one. The winners will play Pats in a couple of weeks' time in the final. That'll be a cracker as well. Whoever's in it, we, can't, we won't just allude to that one yet, Carmack, yeah. but Barton last have done really well in the second half. Brilliant, yeah, the second half performance. Um, just those scores just not going over for Toker there like you would have backed JP Nolan all day long to kick that one and I know we keep saying it we sound like a broken record but I'd say just the, the legs are that bit tired Ball breaks in the middle of the field Liam Gaffney has replaced Dara Fee Brendan Kennedy Brendan Kennedy pulls John McGrath to the ground look where John McGrath pops up when you need to win a break around the middle of the field experience counts for a lot and McGrath's been huge today brilliant yeah brilliant he's played different roles you know he's been winning the ball he's getting scores but just I know just a few minutes left but when you look at this black card uh, for Brendan Kennedy as well a silly foul the toker heads are down you know and uh, I know there's pro yet yeah, there's probably still a few minutes of injury we could have three or four he, he has signalled that Adam McHugh goes off after scoring the goal there's a sub gone in for Barton Das. I'll find out who it is in a minute. But Pat Burke takes the ball from Billy Cullen. Burke solos has a look. Looks to pop a little pass off. He does pop a little pass off in as far as Carl Furlong. Long ball across the field. Oh, just puts John Murray under a little bit of pressure. But Sean Doody is there to help him. Again, that's pressure they didn't need. Doody does well though, wins possession. Oh, it's a loose kick and Connor Davis has the ball. Chance for Davis here, gets the ball into Connor Fee. And Barton has done enough. Oh, he could have went on with that one. He's kicked it high and he's kicked it over the bar. But, oh, <laughs> you'd be wondering why they didn't go for the jugular. You said they went for the jugular all year. Yeah. I think that was the time to go for it. And, and Maybe we were, it looked like he was on his own. It looked like he had a player out. inside yeah, him as well. Player inside. So he could have just gone and drawn the goal. A minute and a half and into injury time. Across. I didn't pick up how long there is of injury. There's two minutes. There's half a minute to go. A long ball again from that man, Jackson. Huge kick. Jack Kerwin. Oh, brilliant take by Kerwin. Could have took his mark. Twists with the ball though, plays on, gives the ball into Sean Doody. Doody wins possession, holds possession, gets the ball in as far as Patrick Whelan. Whelan kicked that point a few minutes ago, it was a massive score at the time. Gets the ball out to John McGrath. McGrath looks to just take the sting out of the game and play the last few seconds maybe up at the end of the field as well. Little ball into uh, Sean Doody. Doody finds Patrick Whelan. Oh, it's a hand pass, it's a loose one. And Talker have picked it off. JP Nolan's on the ball. Can they transition the ball quick enough to get it up the field? Connor Davis has a look up. He needs someone to come and take it off him that someone is Niall Sheen Sheen way out from the goal now has a look uh, gets the ball into Gavin Fogarty Fogarty looks like he's fouled playing an advantage the referee is gets the ball across field to Matt Nolan two point game here don't forget it's long it's high it's dangerous in as far as uh, Gaffney but Liam Gaffney couldn't get a hand on it the ball has gone away to the right of the post and wide and I'd say that might just be the last play of the game depending on Noel Kinsley here and what has been a cracking game here, 2 11 to 2 9, 32 and a half minutes on the clock here. Mark Jackson will kick this one as far as he can. I'd say if he could, he'd kick it into the stand. It's high, it's another play in it, according to this, the way it's going. Ball breaks in the middle of the field, it's won by Matt Nolan. Oh. Nolan, a block in again by that man, Pat Burke. Burke has been immense in this game. Just 
throws the ball away to hold things up a little bit on Toker play the ball into Gavin Fogarty Fogarty looks to run at the bottom last defence they need the ball inside though do they gets the ball across to Matt Nolan Nolan has a look plays the ball down into Niall Sheen Sheen stands up in that corner he's tackled well tackled hand in there ball comes back to Matt Nolan bottom that's of numbers back is there a goal in this game it's uh, Luke Kenny has it gets the ball as far as Connor Fee oh he's kicked it high and he's kicked it wide and the last play of the game when you need a goal it, that wasn't the option Karma probably not like um, yeah I mean now there was a lot of ball last men in front of him but um, it was a bit of a snapshot really you know didn't lift the head chance now there's 33 and a half minutes we're nearly 34 he's calling for the ball it's all over the senior football championship semi-final for 2022 will be played between St. Patrick's Wicklow Down and Barton Glass Barton Glass have survived a real battle here a real scare if you want to put it that way but you know, just in the end, they've just found a way to win, and that's what really good teams do. Yeah, and I think you're right. Like at half time, it did look like you know they were under a lot of pressure, but whatever went on at half time, there was just different teams came out in the second half. Said on Toker kind of hesitated maybe a little bit, and maybe that's just experience on the Bolton glass side. But they came out and kicked the first what four points there the second half, and there's a lot of football in that whatever 66 minutes that we just watched. But you. There was a, just one or two little things in the last ten minutes there for Antoker. You know that last point they got. That was a two on a two on two on the goalie inside yeah. the twenty one. You know you just thought for a second this is it. You know there was a goal in it. But uh, look, as you said, there's lots happens in the whole, match as a whole, so it wouldn't come down to one play. Um, but yeah, cracking game, cracking game. A wonderful game of football we've had here, and that leaves our lineups for final day as uh, Air Og will play on a curry in the Darcy Sands Intermediate Football Championship final. In the Boom and Platform Higher Senior Football Championship final, we'll have St. Pat's and Barton Lass. I'd like to thank everyone for listening in today. I'd like to thank Eugene on camera, Stephen on production, and Carmack for your words of wisdom on co commentary. Uh, we'll be back next week with the Hurling final, so hopefully you'll all tune in then. Thanks a million.